Okay, good. So in this one, we're going to set up a free account for Mathematica. You just have to visit wolframcloud.com. If you're interested, you can also buy their product depending on the type of entity you are. Suppose if you're a student, then you can buy or subscribe their product at these prices. So the most popular one is this $176 for ever. It's one time fee. Although for this course, it's not required. You can easily set up a free account and start learning Mathematica. So if you just go to sign up for free, you'll be asked to fill up this form. So let's do it. Put your email address into this one. Okay, mine is Akshay at advancedphysics.academy. First name Akshay, last name is B. your password and click on create ID okay once you do that a dashboard will open up so they also provide courses books a complete documentation is also available you can check them out here in quick links okay so on this dashboard you will find these two options you can create a new notebook a file that is created while using Mathematica just like a program in other language that file in Mathematica is called as a notebook it will have an extension of dot nb so if you just click on this one it will create a new file let's rename it to something Mathematica crash course and if you just click here you can start writing anything if you click below that you can have a new line like this if you look closely let me zoom in a little so these brackets are there so each line or section is called as a cell so this is one cell and this is another you can add more like x plus y is equal to 10 and so on so this is the basic structure of a notebook and if you go to your dashboard and then my files you can find the file that we just created Mathematica crash course if you select it then you can also download it to your local machine so in this free account we will be limited to a certain number of files and they will expire after like 30 or 60 days so whenever you will work on your Mathematica notebook don't forget to download it to your local machine and you can also check out the other options that are available here you can create a new one like this rename it test file go back to your folder section there you go you have new file going back to our main notebook so there are no major differences between a free account and a paid desktop version from the learning point of view you will not be limited at all in the free account the only thing that bothers me is the uh, representation suppose i want to write x divided by y and say plus 2 so this is x divided by y plus 2 so you have to add brackets here you just have to be more careful I have here Mathematica 11 it's a desktop paid version so strikingly I can write x divided by y plus 2 like this so the visual representation of expressions is much better in the paid version so it's just that we have to be more careful while writing expressions in in the free account of online version but this is saving our money so yeah we can be more careful right so that's the basic setup how you would sign up for free account if you're interested you can also buy the paid version by visiting this link but for our course we don't need to worry about that in the next one we will see the formatting of notebook its features and designs so that your complicated equations can be made presentation friendly so I'll see you in the next one.